first thing I'm doing is prepping my skin with a spritz of the 4-in-1 setting spray. Then I am priming using the Clean Slate Brightening Primer. I'm not going to say Tarte every time because you guys know it's all from Tarte pretty much. And then I'm going in with one of my favourite foundations which is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. This one's in medium sand so I'm just applying some of that and then blending it out using my 40 HD Kabuki. Then to cream contour I'm taking the Tartist Pro Glow Kit and I'm using the cream contouring shade and I'm, I'm applying it to my cheekbones, all around my hairline and my temples, down my nose, under my bottom lip and my jawline and just blending it out using an F57 brush. Moving on to the eyes, I'm priming my eyelids using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This one's in light sand and I am blending it out using a P84 brush from Sigma. Then I'm applying some tape to the corners of my eyes to get a nice crisp line. And then I'm going into the Tartist Pro Palette and I'm first taking this shade. I think it's, oh, I forget what it's called. I think it's called Classic. Um, and I'm just setting my lids with that one. Then I'm going in with the shade next to it, which is kind of like a brown light transition shade. And I'm just blending that into the crease. Then I'm taking this warm orangey toned brown which is called Whimsy and I'm using the same E40 brush and just starting to more precisely blend this into the crease, just really keeping it in the exact crease area. Then I'm taking the next shade which is called Smoked and it's like a deep, deep kind of browny mocha shade and I'm just starting to pack that onto the outer corners and blend it through the crease with an E25 brush. Then I'm going back in with the shape tape and I'm applying some of that to the lid where I'm going to apply the shimmer. I like to do this even if I'm not doing a cut crease because it just helps sharpen up the look and make it look neater as well as make the shimmer stand out a little bit more. So I'm just blending it out with an F70 brush and then blending the edges with my E25 and no additional product. Then I'm taking this shimmer from the side which is called Minx. It is such a gorgeous brownie burgundy shade. And I'm just using my finger to pack that onto the lid. I find fingers work best for this kind of thing. And of course, having a sip of coffee in between blending, you know, you don't want your hand to fall off. And then I am adding some of the black, which I believe is called Punk. And I'm just using that on my E25. I just really wanted to deepen up the outer corner just to make it look a little bit more smoky. Here I'm just going back in with that first shade we used which is classic and I'm just using an E57 to highlight the brow bone. Then this product isn't from Tarte but I didn't have a Tarte eyeliner and I really felt like this needed some winged liner so I'm just using my Maybelline gel liner but you can use any liner that you want. Then I just removed the tape and I did apply some of that gel liner into my waterline as well just using an E05 Sigma brush. And then applying some Tardis Lash Paint Mascara to my lashes. And I went in with some Klepke, Klepke Lashes in the style Mykonos, I believe, because I didn't have any Tarte Lashes either. Then going in with my handy dandy Tarte Shape Tape once again. I love this stuff so much. It's honestly the best concealer. I actually applied too much. As you can see, it was quite a bit lighter, but I just made it work and used it kind of as a highlighter so yeah but as you can see you don't need as much product as what I used at all so I just went back in with my foundation brush to make sure it was blended into the foundation and then to set the concealer I used the smooth operator loose powder and I just used that on an F35 to press into the under eyes and through the center of the face Then I'm going back into the Pro Glow palette and I'm taking the powder contour shade this time and using an F23 brush to bronze up and contour the skin. So it basically just sets the cream contour that we did earlier and it does help to warm up the face and make everything flow a bit better since I did use too much concealer. 
Then for blush, I'm taking this colour out of a Tarte blush palette I've got. It's called Mod. I don't know if it's available on its own, but it's just like a peachy pink. And then taking the shade Spotlight, I think, out of the Skin Twinkle palette, I'm using an F90 fan brush just to highlight up my face. Then I just set everything down again with that setting mist that we used earlier. And moving on to the under eyes, I'm taking Whimsy, which is that orangey brown again, and buffing that underneath the lower lash line with an E40 brush. Then I'm taking the shade we used as a transition again, it's called Innocent, and I'm just buffing that underneath just to kind of smoke everything out. And then I'm taking the black, which is called Punk, and just doing the same thing but keeping this much closer to the lash line. Then I'm going back in with Minx and just applying some of that to the inner portion of the lower lash line with an E54 brush. And then going back into the Skin Twinkle palette, I'm taking this lighter shade. I don't know what it's called, but I'll link it down below. And I'm highlighting my inner corners and just my cupid's bow a little bit more precisely. Then I just finished off the eyes with some mascara and then for the lips I used the Colour Splash lipstick in the shade Beach Waves which is this gorgeous brownie grey tone. So that completed the entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one brand tutorial and I'll see you in my next video. You know, I mean, this is just... Why is she dying to go? Okay.